Hi, Terry here. It's the energy focus for the week. So we just moved through that first new moon. It's a super new moon, the first of three coming in. It was also the opening of the lunar new year. It was Aquarius, the energy of that new moon, and Aquarius is like breaking free, opening up the energy of the collective. I talked about the year of the dragon that we ushered in on the podcast, so be sure and check that out. I offered a channeled meditation for you to align with the energy as well. So as the intensity of all that excitement, I know I felt that way on Saturday, exciting for the new magic coming in, the mystical, the magical that the dragon brings in. But as it starts to kind of decrease, and here we are on a Monday morning, you might notice your own self, your energy has dropped a little bit. We're in the depth of winter. Yes, we are starting to feel the awakening of spring, but we're still down in there. And you know, there is a lot of chaos in the world. There's a lot of loneliness and isolation. A lot of my clients are experiencing that. And I too have felt that as well. Sometimes that can happen when we start to move out of a transition, start to move through that energy of winter and into the spring, we can get a little bit like, oh, here I go again. It's going to take so much effort. And you might even feel a little bit of your own self-esteem dropping. But that energy that came in this weekend is an opportunity for you to really realign with yourself. It's a time right now to start taking care of yourself physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, but especially even in the physical realm, taking care of your health, your diet, how you're showing up. It really will help you to bring the energy back to you and empower your own spirit. I know many times we start searching out there, what do I need to do? Who do I need to find? Who do I need to be in love with? But this week we open up to the energy with Venus, that Valentine's week, and it's an opportunity to return that love to yourself. First and foremost, be your own Valentine. Take care of yourself, take care of your diet, your health, the way you're showing up will help you to come back into you. Spending time in meditation, doing things that are creative is also a great way to do it. Using your hands helps you to really process all the energy you've been moving through from the winter, right? And that is one of the ways that I handle that. I've been known to depression, feeling isolated, lonely. I live by myself, right? And so finding ways to really inspire my own spirit. And I just kind of offer that to you too. It's like, what does make you feel good? Can you be a little bit more creative right now? I know the weather's kind of iffy and getting outside, but that always lifts my energy as well. But those are the ways that I do it. I know lately I've been trying to, you know, monitor my diet and monitor the way in which I am using my habits, using the patterns, letting go of the old ones, especially creating new ones. And this is how it can help you to come back into yourself. So the energy that we just brought in this weekend has a lot of encouraging energy. That year of the dragon, the magical, the mystical can help you open up to a part of you to empower you to re-envision your goals for this year. There's also a lot of Mars energy out there, but the Mars energy right now and all the energy of the direct planets can help you reinforce your pattern, reinforce the discipline within you. You don't have to go like crazy and make big, huge promises to yourself, but just a little bit each day, little bit tuning into you. What do I need? How can I take charge of my life? There is a lot of encouragement in the energy out there with all that direct motion of planets. Really, it's not a time to rush into the transition. It is a time to allow yourself to notice what have my dreams been? What are the messages of my ancestors? That's what winter is all about. And so yes, it can pull us deep. It can pull us down, but the light is returning, which is empowering, inspiring, right? And so now it is a time to connect to the light within you, to connect with the light of the universe, to open up to that new energy that is all around us. There is magic in the air, even with all the chaos, all the cosmic forces going on and all of the worldly events. Yes, it can be hard and it can be depressing, but it doesn't help to be in the depression for the world and for the collective. Lifting your vibration with this light coming in will help be an inspiration to everybody. We as light workers, as energy healers, as people that work with this vibration, we need to keep our energy high. It will help all around. Don't think it doesn't matter. It really does. So as you move through this week, 
Bring some love to yourself. Be your own Valentine. Notice what those intentions are that you set out at the beginning of the year and just kind of reinforce them. Take a small action as we start to really kind of awaken to that spring energy. You do need help. I will say, before I forget, I will say I am having a virtual retreat in the Empowered, no, in the Energy Mastery Sanctuary, my membership. At the end of the month, February 24th, I'll put all the information in my bio or on my website. It's there. And it's going to be an afternoon to help you really radiate with confidence to awaken to your spring energy. You're invited to attend. And it's things like this that will help to empower the spirit, bring that new force forward. Spring is an awakening and soon it will be time to be manifesting and bring your dreams forward. But this little bit, last part of winter, we can feel a little down. So allow yourself to bring in the inspiration for you. Take time for yourself this week. Whether you have a Valentine or not, be your own Valentine. I can't really emphasize that enough. Do loving things for yourself. Eat a little chocolate by yourself. That is fine. You can buy flowers for yourself. We all know this, right? What a great message. We can buy our own flowers. And if you are in a partnership, just act a little bit more loving for yourself and then let that radiate out to your partner. But it is a time to express the love that is all around us. Love is everywhere. It's all around us as is abundance. Tuning in with gratitude can help you lift that vibration and really start to bridge that gap between how you want to feel and how you're feeling right now. And that's what we want to do as we move out of the winter, as we start to move out of the winter, bridge that gap for you. So let's take a moment and align with this energy, take a pause, breathe, and then we'll look to some cards for guidance for setting intentions. So wherever you are, if you can, take another moment with me. Close your eyes. Inhaling, breathing up the body. Exhale all the way back down, lighting a little sage, fire, calling in the air. Calling in the water and the earth, all the sacred elements, aligning with your spirit, bringing in some Reiki energy for you, lifting that vibration right into your heart, inhaling and exhaling, just calling all your energy into you, call it in, centering, calling in the spiritual body, aligning right on top of the physical, emotional, mental bodies, feeling that one pointed focus for your week. Taking another deep inhale and exhale, just dropping right into the deepest part of your heart, feeling that connection, your spirit, the greater spirit. Know that you are loved, guided, protected. Feeling all this energy coming in around you as you take a moment and just notice. Notice where you are in this great wheel of life. How is your spirit? Be connecting with that deeper part of who you are. Call in your higher self, align the energy above you to receive the messages all around you, to help you reinforce those intentions, reinforce that love within yourself. Notice how you connect right here. You can feel connected to source, to light. Taking another deep inhale and exhale, just calling in the directions to surround and protect us to the north, the east, the south and the west, above you, below you, right into the very center, holding into that place of creation. As we go to draw some cards, just staying in this beautiful light of energy, you can open the eyes, just feeling this vibration all around you. Drawing from the Empowered Spirit Tarot. So the first card that comes up is a Ten of Fire. So this is an opportunity to take a moment. Fire is that passion, that purpose. So as we're coming to the end of winter, it is an opportunity to take this and just really notice all the energy that has created that purpose, that passion. Collect it up. Get a bigger perspective. That will empower your spirit, your soul to open up because after 10 comes one, which is what spring will be about. So harness this energy for you this week. Find the balance. All right, here's a justice card. So this is like weighing those scales. Sometimes there can be some legal ramifications you're dealing with, but really where is the balance within you? That's what I always go to first. 
All right, are the emotions pulling on you too much? Is the mind pulling on you too much? What about the body? What about the spirit? Balancing out all of those elements of fire, air, earth, and water will help you to harness this energy for your highest good. We have the Empress coming in. All right, we got another major here. Be in alignment. You are the creative. This is a very prosperity, maybe pregnant for some of you. Who knows if you're aligning with this and listening to it? Maybe it is. But it is a very fertile time in the cosmos. That Venus energy coming in for us this week. Open up to creating, manifesting your dreams, your light, your passions. And then we have the emperor. All right, we have the balancing. I know the year of the dragon, we talked about that, bringing in the male and the female. So this is some balancing. So not on, only is it important to align with the intuitive part of you, but also that Mars energy, the action part. All right, I know I just finished a 42-day meditation, and now the next part of this meditation is the action part of it. All about abundance. But now we have to take those steps forward. We don't have to take huge, big steps. Just little steps, bringing in some of the action. Now, the beautiful card about the beautiful energy about the card of the emperor, he sits there with knowledge, the beard, the wisdom, the tree of knowledge behind him. Bring your wisdom. This is like earned lessons learned. It's not like you just got everything handed to you, but use that wisdom. Don't get into the victim. It's so easy right now. So easy to get into victim mode. All right, especially because we're deep and we're down there and we're tender and we're growing. Don't let yourself get into the victim. Use the idea when that victim shows up, what my teacher's been working with me, when that victim shows up, give her a name, give him a name. What is this showing you? Probably how you're stuck in the past. Allow that energy to break free. And it is your lessons. It is your power. It is your strength. Beautiful cards this week. Some majors here. Gather all the work you've been doing from the winter, all the dreaming, all the passion, and the purpose. Get a bigger picture of what that means on your path. Find the balance, all the balance of the elements within you. Align, center, be in alignment with the cosmic forces. Be creative, abundant, be right there, knowing these cosmic forces are there to guide you. Take some action. Don't let the victim energy get you. You've learned these lessons. You've earned your right to sit in where you are. Now it's time to break free, take it forward, reinforce the manifestations you want to see coming forward for you. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale, breathing all the way down deep into the earth. Taking one more moment, feel the power of your solar plexus opening up your strength. Feel the heart with this Venus energy surrounding you, loving you. Focusing the third eye to guide you through this week. And as you're ready, just blinking the eyes back, coming back. As we take this moment of gratitude for this week ahead, inhaling and exhaling. Take this with you out into the week. From my heart to yours, to your spirit. Namaste.